What's up, everybody? If you want to see some Japanese burgers of the Abbey Normal variety, you've come to the right place. On the one hand, we've got a barbecue pineapple burger, and on the other hand, we got a little thing called a spam burger on deck. So you better buckle up, because this burger binge is about to ensue. So I was boosting around downtown Tokyo, chasing the chow hound dream. I came across a freshness burger and decided to check out their latest menu. Now on their last seasonal menu, they had a Thailand style burger that was tasting pretty damn good, but this time, they got a barbecue pineapple burger popping off as part of their Hawaiian food fair, and I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to try it out. Borderline aroused. They've also got some kind of tropical ice drink over here, and they've got a salad, but I know from last time to steer clear from their salads. I mean, who needs a salad anyway when you're jamming your face with a shitload of greasy as hell burgers? Anyway, I ordered up a tropical ice drink, and I also got myself a barbecue pineapple burger and a spam burger. Now, the drink came out first, so I was inspecting that puppy all up close and personal-like. It was looking pretty decent. Now along with that drink, they gave me some syrup on the side, if I so chose to sweeten my drink. Well, that was a nice touch. Makes me think that Freshness Burger really cares about my eating and drinking experience. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Makes me feel like a valued customer. So I jammed that straw into the drink and started sucking that thing down like my life depended on it. And holy shit. This drink's sweet as hell. Why'd they give me that syrup on the side? Are they trying to give me diabetes or something? I don't know, maybe I'm some kind of beverage snob, but to me, this tastes like glorified sugar water. So after I chillaxed there for a while, spiking my blood sugar with that drink, eventually the burgers came out. Question is, which burger to go for first? I think I'm gonna try out that barbecue pineapple burger first. Now here, I wanna take a look at this thing, but that huge ass piece of lettuce is kinda getting in the way. Anyway, as you can see, we've got a beef patty, a slice of pineapple, some asparagus, some tomato, and some barbecue sauce. Seems promising to me. The only complaint I have is this whole wax paper sleeve thing. It's making it hard as fuck for me to pick up this damn burger. Anyway, once I finally got a good grip on that thing, I took that mass of lettuce and jammed it toward my face. Truth be told, that first bite didn't quite make much headway. I mean, I was just working my way through the outer defenses of lettuce over here. I gotta bite my way through the vanguard of vegetation before I can chow down on the middle guard of meat. That's right, baby. I have all this shit planned out. I have all this shit strategized. I mean, you might think my eating style is casual, but actually each bite is calculated for maximal effect. So after I made a few bites into the interior, I have to say, I was a tad lukewarm on this whole burger. I mean, the burger in general tasted a tad bland, except for that pineapple, of course. Whenever I got a bite with pineapple in it, there was an explosion of sweetness in my mouth. But when I didn't get any pineapple, I gotta admit, it was tasting a tad on the boring side. I don't know, I've spent so much time eating wild, exotic burgers that now that I have a hometown, homely burger, I just can't appreciate it. I mean, I don't know, is it me or is it the burger? Maybe I lost my ability to pair bond. Maybe I lost my ability to have an emotional connection. Bottom line is this burger didn't excite me like those other burgers did. I mean, don't get me wrong, I did eat it, but I was fantasizing about other burgers during the act. Let's just put it that way. So after I finished off that barbecue pineapple burger, it was time to try out that Spam burger. So let's take a look. We got a fried egg on the top, we got a slice of Spam, a slice of tomato, and a shitload of cabbage on the bottom of that bad boy. Apparently this puppy has some teriyaki sauce on it as well. So I got a good grip on that burger and shoved it in the general direction of my face. Now I got my first bite in, but it was mostly bun, thanks to the dynamics of that wax paper I'm holding on to. When I'm holding that wax paper, the bun stays in place, but all the ingredients fly down the center. But after a few bites, I did make my way to the egg, spam, and tomato, and I gotta say, it was tasting pretty damn nice. 
I mean, I'm not the biggest spam fan in the world, but even I've got to admit, that was tasting pretty oishi, if you ask me. That eggy wig taste mixed with that tangy teriyaki and that salty spam was a nice combination. Now after a while of chomping on this thing, the spam became a bit much, it was a bit on the salty side, but overall, I've gotta say, that's a nice fucking burger right there. Anyway, if you haven't already seen my Japanese Halloween burgers video from last year, then feel fucking free to check it out. I got the link in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.